All right, you guys, today I want to check out how to make this crystal glass material here in Spline and Adobe Firefly. Now, this is another really interesting experiment that eventually came out pretty successful. So we're going to take a look how to make it. All right, so first I'm going to create some text with the letter S. I'm going to go and recolor the background as black and I'm going to go and convert to shape. Double click on the letter and I'm going to increase the bevel a little bit more bevel side and decrease the extrusion and it should look something like this now click somewhere here select the text and here we get the material click on the material and as you can see we got a lot of things going on so i'm going to go here to the four dots and i'm going to go and create a new one and i'm going to select the new one and i'm going to click on xx and i'm going to go here to the link on link it let's go to the color change up the color i'm going to go with something light to be honest we won't need any lighting so i'm going to turn it off and now we can go to this plus click on the plus and we're going to change up this color i'm going to select the glass and let's go to the glass settings a decrease the blur i'm going to go down to four thickness is going to be minus three and refraction is 1.5 and from here, we're going to go again to the plus at another material. And this time we're going to change it up to matte cap. Let's go and click on the matte cap thumbnail. And here basically you can select any type of material you want. But unfortunately, we don't have the one that we like. So we're going to need to create it. And for this, we're going to jump into Adobe Firefly. Let's go to the aspect ratio, change it to square, content type photo. Let's scroll down to styles and we're going to go to browse gallery scroll down until you're going to get to the neon and basically i selected this one with the heart now we're going to go back scroll down to the styles and right now i'm going to decrease the strength to zero visual intensity on 50 something like that scroll down i'm going to select hyper realistic and go to the lighting select studio light now we're going to go to the prompts and type in diamond sphere prism colors floating isolated on black background and let's click on try prompt so we got some funky results going on. I think we got too many details going on. So I'm going to go to the styles, maybe decrease the visual intensity and let's try it again. I'm going to keep on generating some more. So I think I got a pretty successful one, which is this one. I'm going to click on download. And from here, we're going to import this into Photoshop. Let's select the crop tool, press and hold shift plus alt. And we're going to need to crop this all the way into the center part. So make sure that the crop is going to happen inside of the sphere. And let's double click. And now, but least, we're also going to need to add some blur. So we're going to go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. I'm going to go with 2.8, click OK, save it as a JPEG. And now we can go back to spline. Here we can see we already selected a matte cap, but we can change up the image. So click on upload image. And I'm going to go and select the new diamond image, click on open, and take a look at that. And this is how it looks so far. Now let's go and click on the matte cap thumbnail and we're going to change up the blend mode to screen and check this out if you double click on the letter i'm going to double click on it and we're going to go here to the bevel and if you increase the bevel it is going to create this refractive diamond look i also going to click on the background and you can go and activate the effects and i'm going to go to the bloom activate the bloom and you can go here and customize the bloom however you like you got the scale you got the intensity i'm going to decrease it a little bit more i'm going to hit play and it is going to look something like this and this was it for today thanks for watching